If you guys are looking for the absolute cheapest coins on the internet right now, head on over to my sponsor, AO. EAH.com. They got the cheapest coins on the market. You can get a million for under 50 bucks. Save that money. Make sure to always use code Poodle at checkout to get your additional 3% off. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today we have the Thursday LTDs. We have a few other things to go over throughout the video, guys. But overall, LTDs today, right? Now, have I ever pulled an LTD in my life? No, I have not. Isn't that crazy? I've been playing since Madden 13. And I may not be the biggest money spender, but back in the day, Back in high school, mom, mom and daddy's money. I was a pretty heavy pack, pack buyer, right? Now, no LTDs back then. And for some reason, to this day, I mean, again, I don't spend a lot of money, but eventually I'm due for one, right? There's plenty of free packs. There's plenty of early pack openings. Never can get one. Ever. I don't know what it is. Now, I'm hoping that one of these Thursdays I open up my get a player pack and just get real lucky. But that's never going to happen. But overall, guys, before we get into the video, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up as always. Comment down below. Let me know what's up. Let me know which is your favorite LTD of the day. Let me know what's going on, guys. And, of course, good luck to the Giants tonight. They have a big Thursday night matchup against the Washington football team, I believe. Now, I'm a Giants fan, so I'm excited. I'm going to, you know, have a nice little Thursday night football night. Watch it. Got a sound bar hooked up for it. I'm really excited to go watch the game tonight. But overall, if they lose, which they probably will. Although, I don't know. Apparently, Daniel Jones is undefeated against them. But I don't know. He's probably going to fumble tonight. But we'll see. Enough of the football talk. Anyways, LTDs today. I'm going to show you guys the stats on them. Go over a few other things now. In terms of you guys asking about franchise and stuff, I, I don't know when that scouting update's coming out. I mean, I've been waiting for it myself. They are very behind on franchise. I don't know. They kind of released it with... They pretty much said they fixed it without fixing it. You guys know the deal with that. I mean, I'm not even going to get into EA when it comes to that. In terms of all the other stuff, they did gate uh, solo battles for this morning. So if you guys are trying to play that, that is gated as well uh, with maintenance. So make sure that everything in-game messaging, everything's back up before you actually go ahead. Also good news, my Xbox does come back tomorrow. So I can finally hop back, hop back on gameplays and stuff. There was no point to do a gameplay on current gen because you guys aren't going to like it. It's, it's going to look like current gen gameplay, right? The next gen is kind of what's more exciting, what people are playing on. Also, it's super easy on current gen. I don't know if I have bad match. I don't know if it's bad matchmaking on here. I don't know if a lot of the competitive players are on next gen now. And it's just a lot easier. I don't know. Kind of glitchy, though. If you want to play your weekend league, play it on current gen. Play the whole thing on here. You'll probably get a much better record. No, like, no joke. Anyways, guys, moving on. Let me go show you guys some of the LTDs and go through all that. So the first LTD, we got Stefan Dig. We got Diglett over there on the Buffalo Bills. Diggs, if you guys didn't know, he was a big surprise, honestly. I mean, you know, coming into his first year with the Bills, people didn't expect much in a, in a rush, like a rush heavy offense from a, a wide receiver who was like situationally used with the, you know, the Vikings. You know, he wasn't like heavy, heavily targeted as the number one. He was always like a number two. And here he is, right? Number one receiver, top receiver in the league. One of the top receivers, I should say. He gets 89 speed, by the way. This card art's pretty cool. I mean, a lot of people were indifferent about it, but I don't, I don't mind it. It's pretty cool. 89 speed. I would say for Diggs, it's pretty good because that means that will be a 90 speed plus your strat card. I mean, I would have preferred a 90, but it's okay. But the beauty of this card, he gets 86 jumping, right? 89 catching, 89 catching, traffic, 92 spec catch. Now, what's the beauty of this card here is that powered up, he will get the catching, catching traffic, and spec catch threshold, which makes him an elite catching wide receiver. He's also a route running archetype, which means that his route tech will be a lot cheaper as well. It should only be 2 or 1 AP, which is really good for him as well. More importantly, guys, he gets 90 short, 91 medium, and 92 deep. So he will be an all-threshold catching and route running wide receiver, which I really, really like. And I actually do want on my team because currently, right, I have Calvin. He's like that jump ball, go, hold, go ahead and get it guy. Then I have Tyreek Hill. He's like that, that drag or streak, like you forgot about him. He just burned you. But then there's the then, then there's my other ones. Like then I have Devin Hester. Like they're all kind of the same at that point. I need a guy that can just really take the top off and just run routes and just like, you know, run such a nasty post that it's a burn, right? Like I need I need guys who can burn people on routes, especially with the way next gen plays now. Even Jerry Rice isn't necessarily that guy because he only has an 88 short. So uh he actually does fall short of that. So Stefan Diggs is gonna be I, I need that guy like that can run whips and you know digs and slants and outs real good on the goal line like those short ones and i feel like he Stefan Diggs is that guy now he's gonna be crazy expensive as an ltd so don't don't get your hopes up that you may be one of the people to get him but he is really really good i do like this card a lot i'm excited to see the next ltd as well as it does get revealed but this Diggs is cool now what, what would the price range be if i had to guess guys he's gonna go for at least probably if we're even lucky He's got to be going for around 600k, 6700k. I mean, you saw it, Chubb. Even some of the ones that like people didn't even care for went for a lot because they are LTDs. And again, the pull rates in these don't look too crazy this year because I mean, last year LTDs came out and they were at 300k like right off the bat. This year, LTDs are holding value. Some of the uh, legend LTDs and stuff I didn't even see on the block for a while. Like right now, Nick Chubb is 522, Fletch Cox is 540. This is a week after drop. Darren Waller is 949k. We have been the Devin White's 1.2 million. 
if you guys didn't know in the last year of madden ltds were so like not rare that you could get some of them for just as the same price as a regular base card at their overall nowadays lts are back we haven't had a million coin like a million coin card a month that you need to spend a million to get like darren waller in a while even nick chubb holding steady over 500k for a running back most people deem is not really that good in this game and then fletcher cox who's not even that good of a defensive tackle you know he's not the fastest people don't really use dt still holding 500k again they go to packs that does factor into it but yeah let's get into the next card and see what we got okay, so a few things i do want to go over crelo did just announce that we'll be getting a house rule so i will go go through those screenshots in a second but before i do let me cover marcus peters the other ltd for the day Reminds me of an upgraded Marlon Humphrey. I mean, I'm probably saying that because they're both Ravens and they were both like, you know, they got the two plus speed, the, you know, a few plus on the coverage, but he's not bad. 89 speed, 91 excel, 88 agility, 88 jumping, 91 play rec, 92 man, 88 zone, 88 press. So powered up and everything. He will already have the man threshold. He has the play rec threshold. He'll have the 90 speed, 91 excel, but he does not get the zone or press threshold like, um, the other guy gets, which is going to be the certain. I actually prefer the Patrick certain. He's going to be the same speed. But he's going to be, I think, a little bit taller. I could be wrong. I forget Marcus Peters' height. Maybe they're around the same. But he's going to be better at coverage. He's going to be better at coverage all around. He's going to be maybe weighs a little bit more, maybe better hit power. I mean, Marcus Peters is a ball hawk, though, so he'll have pretty good catching. But overall, not a bad card. I just wouldn't shell out the LTD money for him overall. Next, guys, we have the ultimate kickoff, it says here. I think an ultimate kickoff house rule. It's going to be the tug of war. If you don't know what tug of war is, it's when you guys pretty much play for field position. You can essentially end these games in like a play or two, technically. They're very quick. Uh, so it shouldn't take you too long to actually complete this. So five wins. If you guys know what House Rules is, it's a limited time game mode that you can play. Kind of like Superstar KO in a, in a sense. Like it's like limited time, very quick paced games. But if you get five wins, you get a 76 plus ultimate kickoff player. You get 10 wins, you get 5,000 coins. You get 15 wins, you get 76 plus ultimate kickoff gold, gold or better player again. Or you get 5,000 coins for 20 wins. Also, quick thing, guys, it is not confirmed yet, but we will know tomorrow when it does drop. I wonder if these do count towards Hets head wins because I do need those towards Cam. And the big one, guys, this is the bigger reward, like always. 25 wins is an 88 overall NCAT ultimate kickoff hero. So that shouldn't take too long, guys. Tug of War is literally one of the easiest ones to actually go ahead and finish. You could probably knock out like 10 games in a little over an hour. Shouldn't take you longer than two to three hours to do it, maybe less. It really depends how lucky you get. Some people quit, some people suck. You just get easy bomb touchdowns. Maybe current gen will be easier for me, anyways. I have a cur I'm playing a current gen right now. But 88 overall, I mean, I don't know who I'll take at this point. Maybe the Kevin Zeitler just to complete my line. Uh, maybe another linebacker. Depending, I like Dupree. I'll see if there's anyone else that's worth it. But again, I already have a lot of ultimate kickoff free players, so I have to see who can who works for me. But for you guys, it's great, guys. We get another free another free 88 overall player here. We get house rules coming. Gonna be fun. But yeah, that's about it for the video, guys. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn that notification bell, guys. Also, Team Diamonds uh, announced Kralos of Team Diamonds is coming next week, so stay tuned for that. So we have the ultimate kickoff house rules tomorrow. We have LTDs today. We have Legends coming Saturday next week. We have Team Diamonds. We have Team of the Weeks. It's getting, it's getting going, guys. The content's coming. I do really, really enjoy that. But yeah, enjoy the rest of your day. If you guys need coins, head over to AOEAH down below. Use code Poodle at checkout. Pick up some coins. Build your God Squad. Thank you for watching. I'm out. Peace.